hello and welcome to my channel hope you are all doing well kindly subscribe share and like my videos and get to try out this simple and easy to follow um, recipes so today we're going to be making homemade pizza and I have uh, weighed in all of my ingredients already they are they are already weighed out so I have uh, my flour here 200 grams of flour that's about two cups and um, we are going to be mixing all our dry ingredients here. So I have my yeast, which is one teaspoon yeast, salt a half a teaspoon, sugar half a teaspoon. So we will mix all the dry ingredients together. And wash your hands before you you get to this to this part. So I'm just mixing all my dry dry ingredients well and ensuring that they are well incorporated. I have warmed my water here. When you touch, it's not hot to the touch. That's how we want it. And we're warming our water just to activate our yeast. If your water is too hot, then it's going to kill your yeast. So make sure that your, your water is warm, just warm. So I'm going to start uh, kneading, mixing with my hands first to ensure that the wet and the dry ingredients are well mixed. So just go ahead and mix everything well. The, the, the dough is a bit tough but don't worry it will all come out well at the end. So just uh, keep on kneading and just make sure that everything is mixed up well. Just to make it easier for me to work with my dough. I'm going to be adding in my oil. I am going to add in two tablespoons of vegetable oil. If you would like, you can use um, olive oil or vegetable oil. So it's up to you. Just use what you have in your kitchen. And continue mixing until all ingredients are well, uh, are well incorporated. So I'm going to transfer my dough to my working working area so that it can be easier for me to work with my dough. I will be kneading my dough for about 10 minutes. If you like, you can set a timer on your phone and just knead for those 10 minutes. We want our ingredients to be well mixed and to work properly on our dough. So just keep on kneading. I'm going to roll my ball after a few minutes of kneading I'm going to roll my dough into a ball as you can see I'm using my smallest fingers to just form a ball as you, as as is here I'm going to be adding some vegetable oil on my on my ball so that our dough will not stick so I'm going to leave this to rise or to prove for 30 minutes or one to two hours if you have the time I'll be using chicken as one of my fillings. So I had leftover chicken. I have boiled my chicken. It's already cooked. Boil your chicken first. Now what I'm going to do, if you don't eat the skin, remove the skin and discard it. Also, we are going to be throwing away the bones. We are not going to be using the bones at this stage. So what I'm doing, I'm just removing the meat from my chicken. And um, setting it aside, we are going to pan fry it and add a bit more of flavor and color to it. removing all the bones from my chicken this is what we are left with 
So we are going to go in further and check in for any leftover bones and just um, separate our chicken into smaller sizes like this strips if you would call it strips like this into strips so we just want to have smaller size of meat we will be using this as one of our fillings for our pizza so to my pan I've added in oil and I'll be adding in my chicken So I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of paprika, some salt to taste. And half a teaspoon of coriander. Just to add more flavor to our chicken. And I'm gonna add this Now we are going to make our pizza sauce. So to my pan here, I'm going to, I have already added my oil and it's hot. So I'm going to start with my onions first of all. We're just going to give this a few minutes for them to be well cooked. So just give them a few minutes for them to be cooked. At this point now I'm going to add in my garlic. I'm going to add in my garlic. Also give your garlic some time for them to be well cooked as well. So I have already blended my tomatoes. I have about three pieces of tomatoes here. I have blended. Uh, so this is tomato puree. Tomatoes that have been blended is called tomato puree. So we are going to be using it for our pizza sauce. If you don't have a blender, just finely chop them to be into very small, small pieces. At this point now, I'm going to add in my tomato puree. So it's about three pieces of tomatoes with a little bit of water. I'm going to add in my salt, about half a teaspoon of salt for salt to taste and then I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of black pepper black pepper and then I'm going to also add in half a teaspoon of oregano herb if you have thyme or parsley, feel free to add here, all of them. And then also I'll be adding in one tablespoon of tomato, tomato paste, one tablespoon. Two tablespoons, two tablespoons of tomato paste. Uh, because tomatoes, uh, they become acidic. 
um, in their nature they are a bit acidic I'm going to add in one tablespoon of sugar just to level out the acidity of the tomatoes so I'm going to add in if you have if you don't want to use sugar you can substitute this with honey one teaspoon of honey so I'm just going to give this a good stir give this a few minutes to boil and for you are for your sauce to reduce in, to reduce so I'm just going to cover this and give this about five minutes and then I'll be coming back and testing my flavors and adjusting them as well so after a couple of minutes maybe um, 10 minutes my sauce has reduced as you can see I adjusted my flavors I added more salt and a little bit of sugar it was still acidic so I'm just going to set aside my sauce and I'll be using it on my pizza dough when it is ready so this is the chicken that we had made earlier our one of the fillings that we'll be using for our pizza in here I have mozzarella and um, I have shredded my mozzarella and I have also gouda cheese just use any kind of cheese that you have at your disposal I have here uh, corn and corn and I have here a, a green bell pepper and chicken mortadella right here so I'll be using these ingredients as my filling for my pizza so after about two hours my dough has definitely increased in size and this is how it's looking like after leaving it for two hours so I'm just going to knead it some more, give it a good knead. Just make sure to oil your hands so it's going to be easy for you to work with your dough. Just kneading it and then I will fold a ball. Be using this tray for baking my cheese. So I'll just add it here. So I'll add some oil to my tray. And then I'll be just spreading the dough with my hands until it covers all of my baking tray so just spread it with your fingers with your hands until it covers the whole of the later this is how my dough is looking like on my baking tray so just before we leave our dough to rest for an extra 20 minutes we are going to be making holes like this with our fork so that our base is going to remain flat it's not going to prove up we want it level when we'll be placing our toppings it's going to remain level so that's why we are making this poking these holes with our fork pop this the holes on your dough and then cover it for 20 minutes and then we're going to be adding our toppings on top so after 20 minutes of leaving our dough to, to rest I have all my ingredients here 
we are going to assemble our filling. So we are going to start with the sauce. I'll just spread my sauce. My sauce has already cooked. Cooled down as well. So I'm just going to spread my sauce all over the dough. mozzarella and gouda cheese just use any cheese that you have wash your hands guys so i'm going to spread it to spread my cheese over and then next we're going to add our chicken the, the ones we have made earlier So our chicken here, I'm going to spread it over there. Use any filling that you have. The pizza is just all about what you like. And then next we are going to add um, our chicken mortadella. And then we are going to add our corn, just a little bit of corn. Finally we are going to add our capsicum, green bell pepper. oven to 250 degrees Celsius and then we are going to bake this for 15 to 25 minutes just keep on shaking and finally I'm going to chop up with my cheese so we are going to bake it at 250 for 15 to 25 minutes pizza is ready for baking so we're going to bake for 250 for 15 to 20 minutes 